Hi, I'm Hans Wilhelm. What is happiness? The answer to this question varies from person to person. For some, it could be meaningful relationships, personal achievements, good health, and a sense of purpose. But happiness is essentially the feeling of joy, contentment, and inner peace. And in this video, I'm offering three steps to happiness from the spiritual perspective. Let us begin by looking at a person who has this wonderful quality of being for the most part truly happy and content with his life. We can also call him a flourishing human being. What is going on here? What is his secret? It is not a secret at all. We know from the teachings of the spiritual world that lasting happiness is our true birthright and it is experienced by a person who is continually nourished by the divine life energy or life stream that we can call the all power god spirit or cosmic infinite love that flows through him and keeps him and his soul and his body energetic healthy and vibrant because this energy is happiness peace and joy as we have seen in my video on the chakras this divine energy enters the body through the nucleus of the soul up here close to the pituitary gland it then flows from there through the entire body through the seven consciousness centers or chakras via the nervous system from where it then nourishes all the organs and components of the body. In a content person, this God or life energy flows uninhibited and vitalizes not only his soul but also the whole body and mind. This gives the person a lasting feeling of well-being, contentment, or simply happiness. It also provides him with the vigor he needs to handle any approaching health or mental adversities. He is totally relying on this inner power, this inner spring of well-being, and the result is happiness, because happiness is our essential nature. We all may have had such moments of elation and joy in our life, like when we woke up in the morning fully refreshed. But very few of us are consistently happy and content like this fellow here. What do we do so differently than he does? Whenever we think, speak or act against the law of cosmic love, we are acting against ourselves, our true nature, because we are cosmic love. As a result, we burden ourselves with the aspects of our human ego by putting shadows on the particle structure of our soul. Thereby, we diminish the flow of this life energy through the chakras and to the related organs that are attached to that specific consciousness center. Eventually, these organs will no longer get enough life energy to stay vibrant and healthy and can become ill. Not getting sufficient life energy flowing through us causes us to lose our overall vitality, our strength, our health, our positive outlook on life, and much more. Basically, we feel empty because the life force only trickles through us. We are energetically impoverished. So what can we do to regain a sense of lasting happiness? We have to return to our original state of being, which is love. Infinite, selfless, unconditional, all-inclusive and unlimited eternal and cosmic love. But how can we return to this original state of eternal happiness? The answer is very obvious. We have to become again what we are by nature. To be love again, we have to love. Nothing else. Christ pointed this out very clearly in his most important message. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. So step one is self-recognition. We have to become aware that we are beings of light, of cosmic consciousness. This means we have to cleanse our soul particles by walking the path of cosmic love step by step. How can we do this? by very gradually changing our way of thinking and taking the Ten Commandments, the teachings of the Sermon on the Mount and the Golden Rule as guiding tools in our everyday life. Then the particle structure of our soul cleanses itself and instead of the shadows, light flows back into our soul and then radiates into our body and purifies it. 
When we cleanse our soul and our body, we become freer, we breathe more deeply and don't want to lean on other people or make use of them for our ego. Therefore, number two is, we develop healthy relationships by no longer use others for our energy supply through burdening them with our demands and expectations for love, affection, approval or appreciation. Instead, we give to others first what we would like for ourselves. That means, when we can make someone else happy and give hope and joy through positive thoughts, actions, words or even prayers, then through the loving act of giving, this positive vitality not only flows through us, but also returns back to us, thereby giving us also strength and hope and happiness. We always reconcile with our neighbors. We forgive others and ask for forgiveness if we have wronged anyone and also offer amends. Number three, gratefulness or gratitude. This is one of the most effective and powerful tools at our disposal at any time of the day. Wherever we are, whatever we do, we appreciate and acknowledge even the simplest things in life. As Brother Steintel Rust put it so well, Gratefulness is a decision and happiness is the result. Please watch my video on gratefulness, which explains in detail how this power works through us. These are just three steps that can help us to allow the God Spirit flow again in us unhindered and revitalize us again so that we can become as happy as this guy over here. It's all up to us because we are the architects of our own life. Now you may wonder from where I got these principles. As a student of the mystical path, I've studied many of the great books and revelations that the spiritual world gave us through Gabriele for nearly 50 years and which have inspired many of my videos. One great introduction book is Live the Moment and you will see and know yourself. But you may also want to take a look at this little booklet called The Path to Cosmic Consciousness, Happiness, Freedom and Peace where Gabriele explains in her own words how she became the emissary of light and why the path to cosmic consciousness is so important to us. Link to both booklets are beneath this video. If you like this video and have not yet subscribed, you may want to do it now so that you will always be the first to know when a new video has been launched. Thank you for watching.